Hearthstone? What is this nonsense? Uh, this is just a new series that I'll be doing. It's more of a, a more casual, more rambly series. A lot of my other series take a little bit more editing time, a little bit more time putting together. This is going to be very, very simple, very bare bones. Um, and it's just going to be a chance for me to talk about the channel, things coming up, things that are happening, keep people informed, play some Hearthstone at the same time, why not? New season just started. Um, I don't play Hearthstone that much, but I do enjoy it. I use it to just kill some time. It's kind of relaxing to play. Um, so yeah, I just I take my time and enjoy myself. I have a, an interesting deck called No Fun Allowed. As you can see, new season, dropped down to rank 20, lol. Um, this is going to be crazy, no doubt. No Fun Allowed, let's take a look at No Fun Allowed. As the game stalls, lovely. Um, so yeah, my collection... So Overwatch videos are still ongoing, I'm trying to make them as fast as I can. Just because I wanted them done by like end of January, but because Christmas was so hectic, I've had to sort of stall, and I'm a bit behind. So I'm trying to do those as quickly as I can. Faro should be uploaded very soon. And then Zenyata will follow that, and then probably Hanzo. But it depends what people ask for. Like, I do res I do read all the comments. So post those if you want a specific hero. Anyway, so let's go through this deck. The point of this deck is to basically be a blue deck. So like a Magic the Gathering blue deck in Hearthstone. It's called No Fun Allowed because the idea is you shut down what the enemy is doing at all times. It's a very controlled deck. It's a controlled deck that's also built on secrets. So you'll see that we have two counter spells, two mirror entities, a spellbender. There should be a nice block in here somewhere actually. Which I might sneak in somewhere. Um, Can I sneak that in somewhere? Well, we'll just go with this for now because this is what I've been running. Arcane Intellect just gives a little bit of card draw. The Ethereal Arcanists are actually a key part of the deck. When the deck works, um, what generally happens is you get an Arcanist out and you protect it with Counterspell, with Spellbender, and they can't remove it, and then it becomes a huge problem. The big weakness of this deck is sometimes you just don't get the cards, and you'll just die to a sort of a rushdown, beatdown deck. Generally, the longer the game goes, the better this deck does. It's actually been winning a surprising amount lately. It's usually very, very bipolar and very, very variable. But we'll see how it goes today. This could be a complete wash. This could be amazing. So in the meantime, while we wait, um, what's going on with the channel? Well, videos are still kind of a pain to make because I have a lovely jet engine of a computer still. Um, I do have some money stored up to sort of fix all that, so I don't know what the core of the problem is. It's certainly one of the fans. It could be the water cooling system inside it that's sort of on the blink. The computer I have has had reported faults with those. So what my plan is is to basically gut it all. New case, new motherboard, new RAM, new cooler. Um, keep the processor and graphics card because I have a, an i7 and a GTX 970. Okay, let's see what we got. This and this is pretty fine. I'd say we get rid of these two. Uh, it's probably going to be handlock. The thing with handlock is it's either hand, uh, handlock or zoo lock generally. I generally do very well against handlock, not so much against zoo. It depends if I get my sweepers. The reason why we're taking counter spell is because I want a secret that will stay, that won't just instantly go away. One shot, one kill. Uh, can we play anything? No. Turn two, these two is very nice to get out, turn two. Kirintor Mage, not many people use it, I quite like it because it just gives you a lot of momentum. The problem with the Kirintor Mage is that a lot of two mana cards trade favorably with it, so it can cause problems that way. It's a handlock, that's excellent for us. So. Ideally, we'll have a um, an Arcanist by turn 4. If we can get the Arcanist down and keep it protected, we are in a really good position to win. Or we just win immediately. So yeah, this deck is really good. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, shiny fireballs. So yeah, that's how you play the deck. You just, you get a turn 2 Kirintor Mage out and you win. No, that's, that, that isn't how this happens normally. Where was I? Computer. Yeah, so I'm planning to get that fixed soon. I do have sort of a weird February ahead of me. That's going to be interesting. 
I've uh, recently started a new job, so that's sort of eating up a lot of time. Luckily, the training with that is finished, so it's not going to be as exhausting. Is this the same guy? I hope not. Unstable portal. I run really well with unstable portal. I'd say let's get rid of these two for now. Having a secret on its own isn't that helpful. I like to use a Kirin Tormedius to sort of fish it out, but it's a crapshoot. Um, we're really hoping to get something good from the portal. Because we're turn one as well. The thing is I don't have any one mana cards. I don't have any worms or anything like that, so yeah. Having two Arcanists is not the most useful thing. Unless we can get both out and both growing underneath a counter spell. Oh. Easy. Is it zoo? Ooh. 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 Good. Hand. I like hand lock. What do we get? Nothing good. Okay. Could be worse. I've had worse. I've had amazing things out of unstable portals. But this is good for us in some ways. I really hope to draw a secret. Perfect. Actually, this is amazing for us because it means we might get a Twilight Drake or something. We have many secrets. This really puts pressure on him, and next turn, if he doesn't play anything, we can get an Arcanist out, and that will cause problems. So he has to play something now? That's not so good for us. Um, I don't have any activators for that. I used to run with a... Um, but what I'll do is I'll just aggress and keep keep aggression on. I used to have um, spellbreakers, not spellbreakers. Yeah, spellbreakers. Spellbenders are the secret. Um, they were fairly useful just against paladins and druids, especially. Also, we have a win condition with this deck. Um, by turn, if by turn ten they are sub ten hit points, we win. Because <laughs> I have Pyroblast, go figure. So that's nice. Modern Giant, nice and late. We have a Mirror Entity, beautiful. So I'm going to get this out, get this out. Ping. Stay on face. Hopefully he'll play a nice big card, we'll get that and we'll win next turn. This deck eats Handlock. I'm sorry. This is like the anti-handlock deck, because it's so much control, they play a big card, we generally have ways of just removing it immediately. So yeah, we can't sort of shoot past that easily, but we can shoot past it. And we can blizzard all of this shit. Basically, I'm waiting on... That's pretty nice. Um, let me see. I can survive nothing. Chink, 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 chink. Uh, what do we trade? What do we trade? I'd say we get rid of you. And we hit. Uh, do we hit you? No, we hit you. The rest of it can just. Stay put. We're hoping we draw the second fireball, because then we win. Okay. That works too. Uh. Bang. I think we just won. Uh, maths, 10, 13. Yeah, we just won. Unless he heals. Go on. Life tap. Go on. You know you want to. Please don't have a heal bot. Or Jaraxxus. So many possibilities. What are you doing? Ah, oh, shit. What? 
we win if we draw a fireball, frostbolt. We win with a lot of things, basically. Let's see. Heart of the cards. Shields up. Give me what I need. That's not what I need. Shit. Um, can I survive next turn? Eight. We can definitely kill the eight. I kind of have to do that. That's nine damage. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Can remove you. Play you. One, two, three, four. Five. Yeah, I think I've just lost, haven't I? Nine, 12. Yep. Well played. So close, but so far away. Um, that's fine. There were a lot of ways we could have won that. Though I have frost bolts, I have all sorts. Well, I mean, that's handlock. It happens. It's also annoying that he played the Defender of Argus into the mirror Im into mirror entity. But good players won't play a molten giant or a you know a mountain giant into that. Unfortunately, it's always funny when they do. Ooh! You asked for Ooh! It. Against Rogue, I tend to do alright. Um, it depends. If I get my clearance, it's usually easy, even against a mech Rogue. If I don't get the clearance, so I don't get the flame cannons, don't get the frost bolts, that kind of thing, it tends to be a struggle. So we're hoping for a frost bolt now. That's not a frostbolt. Okay, this could hurt. Ooh! I did say I run well with Unstable Portal. Come close. And listen. This is a problem. This is a big problem. We have a flame cannon. Excellente. Do I run that out now? I kind of have to, don't I? And hope it kills. Mm. Kill a sensei, please. Nope. Shit. Okay, we are in trouble. This is the problem with the deck if I don't get my clearance. So I should have probably thrown back the Curator Mage and the Mirror Entity and tried to get clearance against the Rogue. And now I'm in trouble. We've got to hope that the. We basically are trying to survive till turn 6. Which might not even happen. Okay, thank God for that. Uh, shit. We don't really have good options this turn, that's the problem. <sighs> I am buggered. Six ways from Sunday. I need to just get ball control, I think. If I polymorph, then one of them just grows anyway. This way, at least, I can probably try and remove one. Also, it might slow him down. Uh, they can't play as many cards, basically. At least not safely. I'm basically trying to stall to get my blizzard out. When I get blizzard, we can start doing things. But this is how the deck works. This is sometimes how it goes, basically. Um, against control decks, we want to get the... You know, we want to get the Kirintor Mages, the Arcanists, out. Because we can protect those with Counterspell and Spellbender. Against aggression decks, we need to get... Frost bolts. We need to get, you know, all those sort of cards. If she just passes the turn, okay, great, great. Uh, let's just get rid of that. So we're in a dire, pos uh, dire position. We do have the Illuminator that can sort of start bringing us back into the game. So it is possible to bounce back, but right now, yeah, this is not good. I wonder. So yeah, February. It's going to be interesting, let me tell you that much. I don't know how much more I can say about how interesting it is. That's not going to work. I get a free 2 1. 
And she kills it. Ha, this guy's oh yes, play more cards. Mmm, I love toast. Goddamn love toast. Chunk, 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 chunk. We're still in a bad position because she can keep picking down on us. That's not good. Yeah, February's going to be interesting. I don't know how much more I can say than interesting. But we should have some interesting things coming up. Uh, other series, other than the Overwatch videos, Game of Thrones should be coming back fairly soon. Well played. What does she have? Does she have anything? Eviscerate, what? You said well played. Okay. Eviscerate. Eviscerate. Yep. Okay. Uh, Game of Thrones is coming back. It's just that I like to put in that extra bit of editing, that extra bit of explanation for people who don't follow the series, and to just keep bring people back up to speed on the series as well. Uh, the next episode of that is going to be very, very nice indeed. Because it involves Cersei, and I love Cersei so much. My favourite character. Not because she's likeable, completely the opposite reason. Um, Resident Evil, that'll be ongoing. Um, that's fun, I like playing that. I'm basically going to try and hammer through that pretty quickly and then explore all the bonus modes. Because yeah. there's like a speed run mode and stuff like that that's always fun to play. I don't think I've actually played the game on hard difficulty. Um, yeah, let's keep this. If it's control maze, then this will all be useful. If it's mech maze, this will all be useful. This gives us options. We're playing Mad Josh 54. Hello, Mad Josh. He's crazy. A lunatic. So coin mech warper and then we frostbolt it. No. That's fine. Unstable portal. Ooh. I can ease your pain. I like that card. Just keeps us in the game a bit longer, can pick off any weak targets. Yes, please. I really like Unstable Portal. I really do. I know a lot of people don't like it, but it's to me it's almost like a shaman card. You pay two mana now, and then you can spend, you know, you've spent that, you've banked it. Because the card you get is two mana cheaper. This is very nice for us. Please draw a secret. We haven't drawn a secret. <laughs> we need to draw, a, like it would have been nice to draw a secret this turn so I can Kirin Tor. Arcanist next turn, and then we have like all the options. That's fine too. Ooh, zombie chow, excellent. We can leave that out. Unless she silences it. An annoying tactic, but one that does happen. Unfortunately, I can't play anything right now. If control maze against control maze tends to end up like this, where we just sort of sit there looking at each other with a million cards. The thing that I can do with this deck, because I have the secrets, is I can then start going on the offensive. You know, like, that's gonna get fireballed. Immediately. We don't want any of that shit. Four mana for four mana. Come on. What do you got? This game, this deck is designed to be the most frustrating thing in the world to play against because you play a card and I kill it. It used to have before the next Rama stuff. It had like Venturco Mercenary as well, which it's an ex it's a cheap card but makes all your other cards that you play more expensive. But I usually didn't have more than one card out on the field, so that was kind of nice. It used to do well against the old one turn kill hunters, for example. Okay, we're fine with that because we have a Sludge Belcher. I notice I'm playing like one behind curve. I always have one mana left, but that's... That is fine. Oh shit. The embarrassment. The shame. Oh. Secret. 
Ooh, the hesitation. Now a blizzard would be nice. Because I can hit this into this and then... Ooh. 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 You might as well, love. Jesus. Uh, we are not getting the cards we want. Hmm. Okay. Not a card either of us can really use. So I might actually just run that out. It's not mirror entity. Which means it's a duplicate, which means... Or it's a nice block. It's a duplicate. <laughs> I run good. And I'll just leave that up. I'm aware that she can ping it with the 1-1 one -one and then ping it, but... The thing is, don't be afraid of having the Soul Priest out, because I think it's my cards that heal that that'll affect, not the other way around. Also, I should have run the Sludge Belcher into the Sludge Belcher. Doesn't really matter that much. Another secret. Interesting. Oh, uh, that's a Pyroblast. This is not what we need right now. Uh, I don't want to give her two sludge belches, is the thing. I'm going to have to, aren't I? Duplicate? No. Which means it could be any number of things. Um, uh, this is where it gets tricky. Do I hold on for the secrets or don't I? I think I don't in this situation. She can, like... She has a million options of getting rid of this. Also, I refer to the gender of the character, not the player. I'm aware it's a man. Is my this is where I need Polymorph. Using a Frostbolt on that. Interesting. Interesting. Blizzard. Blizzard. Uh, this could very well be a counter spell, so I kind of want to do this first. It's not. Okay. It's fine. Uh, yeah, let's just stall while well, I try and get the cards I need. So it's likely to be a mirror entity. That's fine. What? I'll show them all. We can keep the zombie chow up. Uh, I think this is the point where we do run out the Kirintor Mage. We have many and still damage to that. We do this because I kind of have to. And the Kirintor Mage isn't that offensive to run out. As I set myself up to lose this game, but we have the Zombie Chow so we can stay in a bit longer. It's kind of tricky at the moment. But we are stalling. We need to get the right cards out. Unfortunately, this this does happen again because the Kirintor Mage and the Arcanist are so dependent on secrets. Um, what can often happen is you get both of them out and then you don't have any secrets. And also because she has these secrets up now. I want to see if it's a duplicate. It is. Excellent. So the other one's likely a mirror entity. Um, in which case, I might do this one first, actually. We have many Please don't be. Job's done. Okay, we're okay. Uh, Spellbender isn't the greatest thing to run out against a mage. It's it's useful, but it's not the greatest. Counter spells are a bit more useful. I have one Spellbender in there because it really screws up Paladins and Druids. There is nothing more satisfying than stealing a Blessing of Kings. It also stops this. So then we take that. And does she use two clearances on that? Good. 
And there's more zombie chow. She's literally keeping us in this game. When we get through her lines, it's going to be hilarious. Now be a good time for my second blizzard. So now will be a good time for my second blizzard. Sludge Belcher. Explosive Sheep. That... Will that do? Yeah, it will. For Dalaran. Hit there. Hit there. Uh, a lot of things kill us. The explosive sheep are really useful. They're just... Well okay, played. we're dead. Not the greatest showing for this deck. I'm going to keep playing until I get a good one. Damn it. I knew this was going to happen the moment I start recording. The very moment I start recording, it's just bad game after bad game after bad game. Uh, the deck isn't the most well-rounded deck. I'm never going to claim that this is the best deck in the world. Just because it is very variable. Um, better decks will not be as variable. It's just a fun deck that I made. And so it's sort of... I don't like net decking much. To me, net decking in Hearthstone is kind of pointless. I'm not the biggest fan of competitive Hearthstone. It's just... it doesn't... work. The new, there's not enough depth in the mechanics. And it's so high variance that... Ugh. The ability for a good Hearthstone player to massively distinguish themselves from a, an okay one playing the same deck. There are opportunities, there, are decision, there is decision making, so there's always something that separates the two. Bring out your dead. Hello. Um, I'm just going to unstable portal actually. <laughs> the reason I'm unstable portaling and I feel fine doing that is because this guy no longer gets health. So I can just frostbolt it this turn. Not a big deal. Pop! No rush, basically. Uh, and I can actually start playing these guys out and getting free secrets. Uh, Death Rattle Shaman, uh, be prepared for the Riven Dare. Be prepared for the insane number of monsters we get out. I think I've. Oh god, that was a really funny game. I'm trying to remember the exact circumstances. It involved a Riven Dare and me just like clearing everything in such an insultingly easy manner. What have I got up? Spellbender. Excellent. That's actually really good for us. Easy. I'll show them, I'll show them all. Feed you to okay. Not a big problem. Now we have two secrets up. Um, we can actually get a third up as well. Really screw him over. But I think I'll belt you for now. I kind of want to have a polymorph in hand, so when... Um, is this Fugan? No. Not allowed. No fun allowed is the chant. The thing I like about counter spells, especially with the mad scientists, is it wastes their turn. Which is always nice. Whenever you play mech, give that minion divine shield. Let's see what we get with this. Deal two damage to minions with death rattle. Oh my god, we are keeping a hold of that for a while. Reinforcements requested. I will just ping you. <laughs> Talk about perfect draws. I'm sure he's going to play like he's going to do his whole. For the Lich King! Yeah. I'll take that. I love this girl. 
She's the best. It's such a rewarding thing to do. Um, hmm. <laughs> I'd say... I'm going to get rid of this because it's such a threat. I'm going to hit him in the face. Um, no, I want to keep a hold of that. Let's do this. Keep him afraid of doing anything. And do I get the... No. This, oh my god, that's a combo, isn't it? Just, oh wait, to all minions. minions servers, soldiers of the cold Thank you. You're so generous. So that's what happens when the deck works. <laughs> um, it's very frustrating. That was more his mistake of playing Keltazard into a secret. But this sort of thing definitely happens. Where the deck will just win. And it won't even feel threatening. That's when the deck runs well, it runs really well. When the deck falls behind, you generally lose in a spectacularly bad fashion. Anyway, I think this will do for the first episode. I'll keep playing and keep rambling. Just because I find Hearthstone fun. But toodles. <laughs>